Hi everyone, welcome, I'm Bruce Swartz. Thanks for the interest, thanks for stopping by, for contributing, for sharing, for connecting with the community. Unknown planets in the constellation of Draco. Now, when you're looking at a star and the people are asking you, where did you get the star? You're not there, right? So you give them an idea of where you were obtaining and where you were pointing and whatever. Well, I was pointing to the constellation of Draco and amongst the stars of Draco, this very dim planet, it seems, was there. Dead star, whatever you want to call it. It has a surface, maybe an asteroid. You know, they say the asteroids have all these formations and stuff, but look at the design of the surface. Look how we see some more symmetrical objects on the surface. This is the only other planet that I've ever gotten that reminded me of the surface of the moon. And I think, I think it's pretty cool for us to be able to see this. Look at the surface. Absolutely incredible. I was on Mars last night, guys. I went out to get the moon. I got it for about 25, 30 minutes. And the bloody clouds uh, hit in, of course. Well, something happened. I was filming Mars, but I wasn't able to get the bottom half of it, uh, the bottom line of the Mars, the sphere, I could not see it. And I could see an object that was slowly inching across the facade of Mars. So I filmed something yesterday transiting Mars, absolutely transiting Mars. The It was 15% the size of Mars, the planet, if not 20%, maybe even 25. Um, the whole thing went over the top of Mars and when the clouds arrived it had gotten to the center of Mars so I saw the whole half of the transit and I'm saying a transit there was no transit yesterday I went to look and I could not see I'm trying to understand what I could have seen going in front of Mars was it Earth's shadow was it Mercury's shadow What's going on? I mean, I'm trying to make sense of it all. But wait till you see it, guys. After this, get this video up. I did get some moon too, like I told you. So uh, today, uh, after this, this is this is July footage, by the way. Um, more at the beginning of July as I was following the moon phase before the rain hit. And we're going to see some nice footage to, uh, today that I'll be getting up of, can we say the full moon? It was at 1 in the morning, the 26th at night that I filmed it. So it really was the 27th a.m. But they're talking about the eclipse today. They say here, for us in Montreal, we're not going to be see it, uh, seeing it. You know, um, I don't know if we're going to see it or not. I do hope we see it. Posidonius Crater, a nice, beautiful view of it with the ridge or whatever that's inside of Mercerinitatis that we saw in the video. Uh, because the line of light is just beside... Uh, south of Mare Serenitatis. So Posidonius, we're seeing a lot more detail. And look at that. Look at that beautiful ridge, right? Mountainous ridge on inside of Mare Serenitatis. We can't see it. It's always flat. It just basically looks like a flat surface. And we're hardly, uh, can ever see it. That line of light as it moves across the moon, it brings out so, so much details. So you see, this is not the edge of the moon. But every time you see the line of light, it always looks like a mountain that is going upwards with, you know, structures on top. And why? Because we're not on the edge of the moon. We're right in the bloody middle of the moon. We're beside Posidonius, right here on the bottom left. The line of light shows a very different elevation, detailed surface as compared to when the line of light is not by a crater or by an area. Look at the full moon. You can hardly see anything when you're filming the full moon because it's just so illuminated. So I'm gonna let you guys check out the video. I'm gonna go right away, start on that Mars video. I do wanna get the video up. So the first time using my telescope to try to get Mars with this big telescope, of course, I found a celestial object transiting the planet Mars. And I don't understand why, because there should not have been a planet there. And now those from the States, it could be that you don't see it. If you're further away, you're seeing it at a different angle. Maybe you're looking at the, at uh, Mars and you're not seeing that object in front of it. It can happen. Like if you're in Russia, if you're in another place in the side of the world, you're not going to see it. But where I am here from Montreal, Quebec, there was a gigantic celestial object 